Hey everybody, I am back in Washington, D.C. and actually just left the Capitol a little bit ago where we voted on a really important piece of legislation that provides emergency funding for the coronavirus. Uh, this funding, it is a little bit over $8 billion and it's going to fund a variety of things, I think most importantly, which include uh, funding for these testing kits to make sure that they are widely available for anyone who's showing mild symptoms, anyone who needs to be tested anywhere in the country. An important development today is that there are now local labs uh, who will be able to uh, provide the testing, provide the results for these tests. Uh, there's still a lot of information that we're looking for details from the administration, the CDC, about uh, how long these test results will take. Uh, Want to make sure that we're taking the lessons learned from the technology that's being used in other countries that are allowing people to go in and get tested through drive through stations and get the results really in a matter of minutes. That's where we need to be. Another thing this funding will be used for is to make sure that our healthcare providers, our nurses, doctors, those in nursing homes and other uh, healthcare facilities, um, that that all of these individuals have the necessary masks and hygiene tools and equipment necessary uh, to prevent further exposure or spread of the coronavirus. Uh, this funding goes towards increasing opportunities with telehealth so that those who are feeling symptomatic are able to uh, get that consultation with a doctor without actually leaving their own home. Uh, so I'm glad to say that this legislation passed the House today uh, with an almost unanimous vote of support. I think there were two people who voted against it. Um, I think this is exactly what should be happening right now people putting the well-being of our country and the American people ahead of politics and uh, making sure that, that we take action. We take action um, to help further prevent the spread of this virus. We actually, just before the vote took place, Vice President Pence came in and he spoke with the Republican caucus first, then he came and spoke with us in the Democratic caucus. Uh, it wasn't a, a very long session, but he came in and answered a few important questions specifically um, about where these funds would be used, the timing for the tests, um, how quickly people could see results, what we are doing or what the administration is planning on doing for those who are sick and who call out sick and stay home as the CDC is recommending, but if they don't have paid sick leave, if they uh, are, have to be concerned about missing a paycheck or potentially getting fired or how they're going to pay the rent, uh, this is something that we've got to address as part of this overall aid package to make sure that both for employers and small business owners who are impacted, which is included in the bill, but also for workers, uh, working people across the country, when you're being told you have to be quarantined for at least two weeks or if you are sick, we want everyone to take those precautions necessary not to go to work, not to go to school, but we also want to make sure that you have the same kind of security um, and, and aid package that would be there in the form of, of any other natural disaster. So uh, the bill that we voted on today is a great first step. It has bipartisan support in the House of Representatives, in the Senate, as well as from the administration. So we've got to continue to build off of this progress.